In this video tutorial, we'll learn the basic functionality of this extension and also we'll export a product sheet. So let's begin. First of all, as you know, you need to log in into your admin. Click on login and we have successfully logged in. Now to go to the extension, you need to click on this tab, export, import, click on this. And now you are on your extension page. As you can see, there are a few tabs on this page. Every tab opens up a new page and which has a different functionality. So we'll cover up everything one by one. Number one, the export tab. So the basic use of export tab is to export the sheet, right? Here you can use various filters such as you can export products specifically. That means product data. You can export product data. Second option is you can export categories. Yes, using this extension, you can export categories as well. The third is you can export options. Like as you know, every product has options. Suppose there is a t-shirt, it has three options like small, medium, large, or it can, has, it can have options based on color, red, blue, green. So you can export options as well. You can export attributes as well. You can export filters as well. And you can also export consumer data. All the consumers data which you have, you can export that as well. So this extension has some really amazing features. Okay. Now you may be wondering why, what would we do with that exported data? So number one, you can manage and see the data in an Excel sheet, which is much more easy and I'll say productive as well. Number two, you can update the data and re-import into this extension, right? But that importing thing we'll cover in the next tab when we'll talk about the next tab. So right now let's talk about export. So as you know, like you can export data based on all these filters coming a bit down. You can also export data, product data. This is for specifically for product data these two filters range and category so you can also choose specific category right or you can also choose product ids if you want to export the data of particular ids right so let's try it out so first of all we'll try exporting products data i'm not choosing any specific category let's export so as you can see a sheet has exported Let's open the sheet. So as you can see, we have opened the exported sheet. So this sheet comprises of the co complete product data, which is there on the website. We'll go through this sheet in another video right now. I just wanted to show you that this is how you can export the sheet. So let's close it. Now you can export categories. If you click here, and then click on export then you can export categories let's open the sheet and here as you can see all the categories are mentioned so so this way you can export options attributes filters and other stuff right so this is how the export tab box i'll let's let's export one more sheet with the specific category products right so uh, let's assume uh, let's we just want cameras export products cameras let's click on export and the sheet has exported let's open it and as you can see this sheet now comprises of the products from camera category right it, so there are only two products in the camera category. So the sheet has just two products. So this is how it works. Now let's move on to the import tab. Using this tab, we can upload the updated sheet. 
So first we export the sheet using this tab, right? Then if you want to make changes to the sheet, you can then save it and then you can upload the updated sheet over here to make the changes on your website. We'll cover that in next video. Now coming to the settings. So there are some settings as well in this extension. Uh, I'll suggest you to just leave them blank. These are for people who have a bit of technical skills. That's it. And the fourth is the support tab. Like if you want to raise a ticket, you can click here. If you want to go to our video tutorial page, you can click here, right? So that's, that's all. So I hope now you are more familiar with the extension and let's move on to the next lecture. In the next video, we'll update the exported sheet. We'll import it. We'll also look at what, what is the data that is available in the sheet, right? Thank you.